Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to black titanium, or at least my method for it. What I have right here is just a junk, you know, test piece, old piece of titanium. I'm not even going to bother sanding it because it looks like it's got maybe a 120 grit on the faces already and, you know, it's not super important today that everything be important or be perfect. Normally you would set this up to be perfect. You'd sand it to your whatever grit you want before you bead blast or sand blast or whatever you do. Or in this case, we will be sandblasting, but uh, sand it to whatever you want before you sandblast it. And get it all nice and prepped, put on some gloves, get it all clean before you start the actual process. Now, as you can hear in the background over there, I've got a forge going. It's a little one brick forge. It's nothing spectacular, but I've got it set up right there. So basically, I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna blast this in my blasting cabinet. I'm using 80 grit aluminum oxide, the white stuff, not the brown stuff. And uh, I'm going to cut real quick and come back when it's blasted. Okay, guys. So I only blasted like that much of the piece. I didn't, like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. This is just to show you the process. But I gave it a nice heavy blast, you know, hit it real hard, hit it a lot. Make sure that it was fully blasted because you want it to be porous so that it'll take the blackening. So the forge has been going for about 15 minutes now, so it should be good and heated up. And basically, in a normal situation, you'd want to wash this down, clean it, put on some gloves, not touch it, because it's a lot like anodizing. You don't want to dirty up the piece before you actually start the process. Now, what I have not there, hold on. Okay, what I have there now <laughs> is peanut oil, basic, just grocery store peanut oil. Now you can do this, I've seen, I've heard people do it with vegetable oil, but I started out doing it with WD-40 lubricant. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's. It comes in a big metal container. I don't even know where mine is anymore. But uh, peanut oil I found gives me the most consistent black and the most consistent finish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this piece in the forge and let it heat up. And uh, I like to use this because I'll grab onto the end of it right here and stick it in and kind of do this in and out so that it heats up real nice and gets a nice even heat where it's going to black and then I'll flip it around and do it again and then I'll flip it around and do it again and then one more time and I, I usually do it three to four times to get a nice even blackening on it. But let's go ahead and start this so you guys can see. Oh, something I almost forgot. Get a cloth of some kind that you don't mind getting nasty. And what I'm gonna do before I put it in the forge is just swirl it in the peanut oil a little bit. And then give it a quick wipe off and stick it in there. Now I'm gonna let that sit in there until I start seeing it start to, you know, light up and glow. Now normally at this
this point, I'd turn it around and start doing the other end. But we're just going to skip that and double do this end so you guys can see the nice black finish it gives off. And again, you don't, I just want to stick it in there just enough to start getting hot. And then I'll pick it up and I'll start moving it in and out, at least for the forge, with a forge. That way I can start getting an even heat on it. You don't want to keep it just over the spot where the flame is. What I do is I actually take it above the flame to the top of the forge, the heat rises. And then I just start watching for the color. Rock it in and in and out. And there we go. Black titanium. And you can see where the heat colors come through up into the section that wasn't blasted. But I'll take this outside and get some pictures and add them into the feed as we're, or the video as well. Easy day. <laughs>